Sometimes I can just go His mom is still <laughs> Oh my gosh, they're inseparable Look at my new setup, it's perfect Just kind of curls up in a little ball in my pocket We hit the jackpot Good gravy <laughs> And I'm gonna feed all of them. Good evening, everybody. Take a look at this little boy covered in algae. I've been having the cappies free range this whole area for a while now. Those enclosures over there are almost done. And we finally have all these poles set in concrete. Take a look at this, you guys. We really have done a lot with this property. And also look, garbanzo beans is best friends with this cappy. But this sure is a surreal feeling, even though everything's dead. It's crazy to see this precious little bean that we rescued being best friends with this Kathy. And you can tell those two really enjoy each other's company. Oh my gosh, they're inseparable. Look at that. <laughs> I thought love was only true in fairy tales. And all the fish in here are doing really well too. A big ounce is now done building this entire thing. So I'm the foreman. I'm going to go ahead and check on. There's a bunch of Cooper's hawks that live on the property now because of all my pigeons. And I knew that was going to happen, but I sure hope them boys don't take all of them. But take a look at this, you guys. This is all the concrete we have left. I ordered too many. But all these poles are at least 16 feet high. I'm gonna move Petunia away from the curing concrete so she doesn't mess with any of it. Oh, she's peeing. Contrary to what a lot of people think, pigs are actually very clean animals. They only poop and pee outside of the area where they sleep. Well, <laughs> you just got caught lacking. Like and share this video or your family will disappear. Oh, she went right to the mud over here. Look at that. Okay, I'll wait till tonight to herd these cappies back inside because it looks like they're having a lot of fun out here. They are the best of friends. Come on and hit rap an artist to baby. Are you enjoying some alone time over here, sir? All right, I'll leave you be. Petunia looks like she already found the mud hole. I'll let her go ahead and work on all this feed we spilled in the video that I'm legally not allowed to show you guys yet. But look at this precious little girl. Good morning, sweetheart. Well, it may be 100 degrees, but all these animals seem to be pretty happy. Oh my goodness, look at that. Petunia gets along pretty well with the cappies too because they're basically the same animal. And in this case, they can eat the same food, which is the cat kangaroo food. Look at that little guy trying to eat the algae off his butt. Precious little creature. Later that night, I went to Austin with some friends to see the bats fly out from under the bridge. This is where Austin Bat Rescue releases all of their bats. I also found this palm branch on our walk back, and I thought it'd be perfect for Gustavo. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm here at this random old hospital in Waco, Texas. And Uncle Ben's gonna be picking up free medical supply for our wildlife rehab. The folks at All Things Wild told me about this. They're also gonna be here picking up some supplies. Too. There's a lot of nonprofits out there that donate old and expired medical supplies to rescues and other nonprofits. And sometimes you find some real gems. Okay, we got all the supplies we could get from there. But right now we're headed to Waco Zoo called Cameron Park Zoo to give them an educational ambassador, Al. If an animal can't be released to the wild, it's either kept as an educational ambassador, euthanized, or given to a zoo. And by the end of today, I will have showed you guys every possible outcome within wildlife rehabilitation. But all things wild, let me tell along with them to drop off this little owl at the zoo. Oh my goodness. And they already have a phenomenal setup for them. I also met Big Ounce's ex-wife named Sydney here at the zoo. Now a lot of animals at zoos like these eagles here tend to be non-releasables from wildlife rehab. While others are just $50,000 Galapagos tortoises. Or just chubby clappy blappies. This is their setup for them. Wow look how fat they are. But here's a half blind pelican and this guy was more than likely a rescue. Also the zoo is overrun with vultures to the point where they even had to put up a sign explaining it. Also, I've caught every fish they have in their aquarium, which is also haunted by tons of vultures. <laughs> Good gravy. <laughs> Owl moment. But this is where our baby Screech Owl will be going. There's going to be two friends for her to play with at all times. And they'll be very well taken care of. But that's it, you guys. Now I've shown you the three different ways that animals can leave the rehabilitation center. Good morning, everybody. I have this whole little place sealed off. So now I can go in here and leave this door open whenever I feed the foxes. As you can see, these fellas no longer run up to me and be cringe. They just kind of hang out in the opposite corner. This one's still a little bit friendly, though. And to him, I will give what? steak but all these little guys are scared of me now and they're no longer friendly and sometimes i can just go blah, 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 blah. <laughs> did you seriously think i was gonna hand feed that animal that i'm rehabbing especially when the whole point is to get them to wild up before they go back to the wild no i'm just gonna go ahead and leave these steaks right here as you can see these guys are not as friendly with me as they used to be and i'll just give these guys little pieces but that's it they are terrified of me and everybody else and now because it's so dang hot outside bigger to now Tin lives in here. We soon
soon the new house will be done and I can take all these medical supplies and just start stocking everything. Instead of having cups and plates and things like that in here or little food bits, this entire kitchen and all the cabinets will just be filled with medical supplies for the animals. Might even take this oven out and just replace it with an exam table. Obviously my bedroom will be the nursery where I keep all the little baby animals. And out here will just be another room with racks and incubators. Here's me on the front cover of the Waco Tribune Herald. And whoa, what are these? What are these little things? Good morning, everybody. This is my son, Patrick, over here. And boy, do I have something to show you guys today. Look at this boy walking over to me. Take a look at this, you guys. I showed you in Austin how I got this palm branch for free and by legal means. But look at my new setup. It's perfect. We have grass that's naturally growing in here. That's right. These are the same blades of grass that I put in here a week and a half ago. And now they're actually growing. And I'm going to feed ah! And I'm going to feed Gustavo here this other shrimp. I gave him one shrimp this morning when some friends came over. Good morning, Gustavo. Look at him. Oh, he missed. This boy doesn't have what he used to. There you go, buddy. Perfect. Look at this precious boy. I'm going to drop that. There you go. I think he could eat a full-size shrimp right now, honestly. I'm going to drop this little one right on his nose. Oh, I'm sorry, Chandler, from the hit YouTube channel, Chandler's Wildlife. Do you have a palm branch, two rocks, and fresh natural vegetation growing in your crock enclosures? Oh, I'm sorry, Chandler. Do you have access to fresh palm branches? That's what I think. I do wonder how long this palm branch is going to last in here before it starts to rot. But look how happy Gustavo is here. He can go under it and hide under it. And on top of that, he has natural live grass growing in here and a nice little spot to sit in the sun. Now, where were we? <laughs> this is my son. And Papas and Queen are still happy in here. And I give them a little bone to chew on every now and then. I'm cleaning out the cappy water again. And Petunia somehow got stuck in there. I don't know how Petunia got in here with the cappies, but she did. I think somebody let her in here. Thankfully, Gord Kumala and Sylvester saved her by coming to her aid when she needed them most. By that, I mean I ran over here and then picked her up out of the water because she couldn't get out on her own. As you can see, the barrier around the bottom is now in. And now we just need to frame in the top. But there's only one more month of this, huh, Kevin? Isn't that right, buddy? <laughs> My little precious baby boy. Just kidding, guys. It didn't hurt that much, but that was quite a little bleeder. Very good, Kevin. Very good. I'm going to go ahead and disinfect that and leave these boys alone. Remington moment. We're almost done with the fencing on this flight tent, and the house is now painted. We still need to finish shading this one in. And yeah, whatever, guys. Big Ounce and I picked the cringe blue color. I thought it was cuter than just boring white. But Big Ounce finished everything with the tile. We just need to paint everything again. And with all this being done, we are one step closer to turning this other house over here into a wildlife rehabilitation center. But look at this, you guys. Big Ounce has done so much work these last few weeks. And that little place up there is where Tank will live. I can open up this little door and with this Minecraft chest, he can climb down and hang out with me and get back in there whenever he wants. Look at this precious little man. <laughs> But the best is when I kiss him so much that he can't handle it and he has to scream. Woohoo! This possum's still doing really well. He's just been hanging out on top of this little thing. But I keep him covered with a blanket because I want him to stay wild. Biggerton. But Biggerton can climb up on the couch whenever he wants and he likes to sleep under those blankets here. And pretty soon this whole place is just gonna be an office for wildlife. I'm gonna use this iodine I got from that medical supply run on my Kevin bite. And this is what happens anytime I sit on the couch. Big Ounce just kind of curls up in a little ball in my pocket. This fella loves climbing into my pocket. And sometimes I'll just get up and walk away with him in there. All right, everybody, this water is clean now. So I'm gonna turn it off right here. I got a call about a hawk that's got an injured wing. This one is in Woodway in someone's backyard. So you found him right here originally and he was just hanging out on the grill. Yeah, we can hear him. He's a juvenile, but his mom is still yeah, his mom is still feeding him. Do you know where the nest is? No idea. So there's another one way up there in that tree. At this size, he can make you bleed this barely. I was saying you don't want to underestimate the little guys because they can grip a lot harder than they look and it can break the skin, especially if they're really stressed. He'll go from being a little evil, angry boy like this, being eaten out of my hands. Like, even though he looks developed, he's still just a baby.
Guys, there's the mom right up there. No, and there's no nest though. That's the thing. I don't see it. Okay, guys, here's another Mississippi kite. We couldn't get him back in the nest even if we knew where it was because it's so high up in these trees. But I'm going to check and see if this guy has any breaks or injuries and then we're going to keep him fed. And now I'm at Nightlight Donuts getting some donuts. This old guy earned his first donut. Turns out the girls working at Nightlight knew about the channel. So hello, Haley's grandma. Thank you for watching my videos. Look at this precious little hungry boy. Go ahead, eat that boy. But that's it for now, though, you guys. I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. We're coming for you, Jacob.